it's easy to get a bit dizzy with all the different AI platforms that are popping up. That's why I'm doing a simple analog presentation today. It's all about skyreels.ai. Let's compare it with Kling 1.6, Minimax, Firefly and Runway. I'll explain in detail whether it's amazing or not. Stay tuned and see my results. The special thing about Skyreels, the new all-in-one video creation AI platform, are the AI tools, which you can find here on the left in the navigation bar. If you click on it, you will jump to this page. Among them are exciting features such as novel to script, lip sync, text to speech, video editor, and of course the tutorial relevant video generator. If you click on it, you will be redirected to your own dashboard in the video creation section. Let me briefly explain how it works. On the far left is the field for uploading images to create videos via image to video. To the right is the field for prompt input. Below this, there is help for prompts, the so-called ideas. Below that, you can select which mode or aspect ratio you want to use. There are two options for the duration of the videos, five or 10 seconds. As always, however, we first need to find out how the prompts should be written so that we can achieve the best possible result. Skyreels offers a useful function for this. If you click on the small book icon in the top right hand corner, you will be redirected to the Skyreels help desk. You can immediately see that extensive tips are provided here. As the entire process, similar to Adobe Firefly requires relatively extensive prior knowledge, I consulted ChatGPT again. My request, can you analyze this text? and then create a prompt guideline for me? I did this not only via ChatGPT, but also via DeepSeek, Quen 2.5, Claude AI, and Google Gemini 2.0. The results were relatively similar. But for this tutorial, we'll use the ChatGPT suggestion highlighted here. Equipped with the appropriate prompt, my starting point was, as always, mid-journey. That's where I created these two images. But before we approach the topic of image to video, I first wanted to test the performance of Skyreels in the text to video area. To do this, I copied the prompt from ChatGPT and pasted it in here without specifying a reference image. The result we can see here really speaks in favor of Skyreels. Pay attention to the details, the flags, the warriors, the black fortress in the background, the clouds and the staging of the main character. Considering that it's a text-only prompt, it's very impressive. As this tutorial is dedicated to a comparison with other video AI platforms, I also tested the prompt on Kling 1.6. You can see the result here. Being an enthusiastic user of Kling, I am relatively disappointed. Not only is the realization very static, it also does not speak for the text-to-video function in Kling. The test with Hilo AI aka Minimax, produces a much better result, but if you focus on the details, the entire setup is somehow stitched together. Very dark, but also very blurred. The strengths of Minimax are the flags and the dynamic camera movement. This gives the scene depth and a strong visual effect. Would I use this result? Probably not. If we now test Adobe Firefly with text to video, the result of my last tutorial is confirmed you are welcome to take a look. At the end of the video, you will find a corresponding cross-reference. The realization of figures, despite clear prompt instructions, remains below the possibilities. Some parts of the animation are well done, but especially this, let me call it like that, ridiculous armor, makes this video absolutely unusable. Please judge for yourself. I have seen other videos from Adobe Firefly. These were relatively good, but the focus was on animals and landscapes. Maybe Firefly should focus on this specific sector. Runway is also part of this comparison. However, as there is no text to video there, I was unable to test the platform. Next up was the showdown in the image to video section. So back to the images that I created via Midjourney. Here I used the exact prompt suggestion, derived from the guidelines of Skyreels and the analysis of ChatGPT. This is how these two images of a Grimorc commander against this backdrop were created. The next image focuses on the commander. 
he is virtually in the centre. The Orc army and the Black Fortress are out of focus and thus define the depth of the scene. I have now taken the first image and used it as the initial frame in Sky Reels. This is the result. The initial euphoria about Sky Reels has unfortunately been dampened a little. Take a look at the castle in the background. It enters the scene from the right like a steamer. Perhaps someone could make a movie about it. The Wandering Castle. For me, the result is not usable. The test with Kling, on the other hand, once again shows the strength of this particular AI platform. The flags, the camera movement, simply a brilliant example. In comparison, the result from Minimax. I have to pause the movie for a moment so that I can describe it better. The entire sequence looks like a time lapse. It flickers everywhere and is not particularly well realised. Adobe Firefly produces an interesting result. It all looks very fast and hyperactive. But I particularly like the tracking shot here. It's the only one that opens up a view of the entire battlefield. If we slow this movie down with Topaz Labs, it could actually look quite interesting. However, the extreme flickering is also very annoying. This is particularly noticeable with the Orc commander at the bottom left. Therefore, the result via Adobe Firefly is relatively solid. With one or two optimizations, or if we run the prompt again, we could certainly achieve a good result. Finally, the test with Runway. In the videos that I created using Runway, one thing was always obvious, very overdrawn or over sharp. This somehow seems to be a runway signature. If we look at the background, we see that the realization is very static. The figures and flags don't move at all. It looks as if different static layers are moving on top of each other. If we now return to mid journey and use the alternative image, the results are extremely interesting. First, back to sky reels. Look at the orc commander. The camera performs a perfect change of perspective by changing the depth of field. Over the course of the video, the blurred landscape becomes a living battlefield for the viewer. Now the direct comparison with Kling. Here we can also see this change in depth of field. I think the details that you suddenly recognise in the castle, the flags and the troops are brilliant. I really have to say, both Sky Reels and Kling score the highest rating. Simply excellent work. The result at Minimax is good but falls clearly short. The camera moves slightly upwards, but the scenery is somewhat more static overall. I have to show you one thing at this point. For a subsequent test, I accidentally left the image with the orc and used a completely different prompt. This is... A thick, juicy steak is cooking on a grill. This produces the following result. You could almost argue with Minimax that if such a result has been generated, the prompt has no effect on the video creation. Very strange. Shouldn't the orc commander now unpack his apron and stand at the barbecue? But there's no sign of a barbecue or steak. Instead, the camera zooms out slightly and turns to the left. At runway, we see the familiar image again. In itself, the realisation is quite good. However, it is once again totally overdrawn. You could say that runway is very true to itself when creating videos. When this is implemented with such consistency, it looks really great. Runway does not change the depth of field. I almost want to say, this video is the best result I have ever achieved with Runway. Really well done. Everything you've seen so far is based on an input from an external source. The prompt from ChatGPT or the images from Midjourney. It was important to me to see how Skyreels handles its own prompt suggestions. Strangely enough, these suggestions differ from their own guidelines. Some of them are very short and without a detailed description. I received a prompt on the subject of barbecues via Sky Reels. I went straight over to Midjourney and created a corresponding image there. If we now use text to video in Sky Reels again, we see this result. Once again, this shows the strength of this function. You get hungry as soon as you see this steak. Really a great job. I also use this short standard prompt via text to video with Kling i.e. without an initial image, this is the result there. The realisation at Minimax, on the other hand, has its own dynamic, because here the focus is more on the camera movement. Although not as good as with Sky Reels or Kling, the video is still well realised.
In the last series of tests, I used the image from mid-journey. There we can see three key parameters. The smoke in the foreground and background, the peppercorns and the embers. If we now look at the result in Skyreels, I really have to say, this is the best you could imagine. It's really impressive. Every nuance fits. It steams, it splashes. The light reflections. When fat falls onto the fire, a flame flares. The smoke is perfectly staged. The camera is static. But I didn't make any input for that. The implementation via Kling in comparison is well done, but doesn't come close to the quality of Skyreels. With Minimax, the camera movement is again an essential part of the video. This is actually strange because the orc didn't have this despite clear instructions and the implementation remained static. Minimax seems to develop a certain life of its own. This makes video creation relatively unpredictable. Another comparison with Runway, you could almost say as was to be expected. Runway has proven to be, let's put it this way, resistant in some cases and has had a few misfires and this time too that seems to be the case. The smoke from the image is not identified as such. There are white tips sticking out at the front. Instead, Runway uses its own smoke, which is superimposed over the video. Strange. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel and recommend it to others. Thank you very much for listening. See you soon. Your channel. AI. Now you know.